Hello everyone and welcome to a hot, hot, hot review here. Hot off the press, hot in the air, hot on my lips review from my steamy mailbox to yours. We're gonna talk about these new lip tints, crayons, lip crayons from Colourpop here. I've got a lot to say about them. I'm very excited to do so. Colourpop sent me the new collection here of these lip tints, just a tint lip crayons. In hopes of a review, this is not a sponsored video. This is just PR that was sent to me. They are not guaranteed a review. They're certainly not guaranteed a positive review, but for the most part, this is going to be a positive review. I have been using these for the past week here and I have really, really been enjoying them. If you haven't heard about these yet, uh, these are from Colourpop. It's the Just a Tint Lip Crayons. There are 12 different crayons, 6 different bundles. You can also buy all 6 of the bundles together. It doesn't get you a discount or anything, but if you do buy the bundles of 2, that will get you a discount in comparison to the singles, if that makes sense. So I guess if you buy the set of 6, that'll also get you a discount in compared to just the singles, but the single crayons are $7 a piece, and if you get one of the kits, it's 12 bucks a piece, so you are saving $2 if you buy two of them at the same time. And then, like I said, if you buy the bundle, it's the same as if you bought the $12 packs, each of them. It's $72 for the bundle of six. Colourpop always, at least for me, sends these. I remember in the beginning, Colourpop was really bad about their packaging, at least whenever I would get a package. It was like sometimes it would come in a bubbled a uh, box or whatever and but sometimes it would come in a bag and everything would just be like smushed and awful in there. I remember I used to have problems with that a lot but Colourpop at least this past year or two I feel like they always send the box with so much bubble wrap everything always gets to me safely and these kits here I just think are adorable. I'm trying so hard to find any reason to keep these little boxes. I don't know why I love things like this but like I just love the fruit prints just it's they're just so so colorful and cute. Yeah, look at the little peaches. Not to mention, I love the puns. Y'all know I live for good puns and these are full of them. Each of the kits is punny. I love that. So let's go ahead and just get out of the way which ones I would not recommend, at least in terms of these bundles. This is purely from a taste point of view. The Dragon My Heart Around, the Dragon Fruit Bundle, and then the Guava Have It Bundle. These two, to me, aren't worth it purely because each one comes with a not wearable shade, in my opinion. I don't like pale, dusty, bubblegummy pinks on me, and each one of these comes with one of those shades. The Chubby Bunny shade in the Guava Habit kit, and then the Strand from the Dragon Fruit kit. That is kind of another downside about these, I guess, is that, at least in person, so maybe it's not as big of a deal online, like when you're ordering them online, but the color caps and just the packaging in general doesn't necessarily showcase the actual color of the product. Like the strand, if you can see that, the color cap is this super light pink, but then the actual product, this isn't like a completely unwearable shade to me, it's just not a favorite. I don't know, maybe this could turn into a favorite shade for me. It's just very, at least on my lips, almost unnoticeable. Another bad thing about these, I know you're probably like, Cassie, I thought this was gonna be a positive review. Well, I, there were some kinks. When you first think you put the cap on, you didn't it's gonna slide right off. You have to put the cap on and then really force it down and then it'll be secure. So that's a thing that I just think could be worked on. The cap not coming off, especially in the summer here with a more melty product like this. I mean, I personally have not had any problem in this past week that I've been using these. Having these in my purse, they have not melted on me so far. And like I said, it has been hot and humid here in Minnesota. So these have been put to the test, I would say. But, you know, it's just another thing you don't want to have to worry about when you're out and about or when you're anywhere. You don't want to have to worry that the lid came off of your lip product in your purse. So, two kits that are probably my favorite, I'm going to say, are definitely the Coconuts About You kit and then the Give Me a Slice kit, so the Coconut kit and the Watermelon kit. I just think these two come with a variety of colors type of a thing. Like, a couple of these, it's like the colors are a little 
not too similar, but like the peach one, as much as I really like this one, these colors are both pretty similar to each other. I wouldn't necessarily say you need both of them, but these ones I feel like they are different enough where, you know, you get a nude and you get a deeper one in the coconut one, and then in the watermelon one you get a nice red and then more of like a deep brick red. So those are probably the two kits that I would recommend the most. And then my favorite crayons just in general from this batch. I mean there's more than these but I figured five that's a pretty good pick for you are the coconut kit in general, the gimme some more and cherry pickin which I think is a little funny. The color makes sense in the coconut kit but the fact that the one with cherry in its name is not in the cherry kit it's a little strange. <laughs> but then this Z-Boys color, which I have on my lips today from the Peach Kit, I think is probably my favorite of the bunch, alongside of Maui Wowie. And then also the shade Chimichanga. This is just a beautiful red. The Maui Wowie is a beautiful pink, like a nice bright pink. The Gimme Some More is just a nice nude, but like a really soft nude, like a soft brown nude. The Z-Boys is a nice also soft nude with a bit more impact, but like a brownie peachy orange kind of a color and then cherry pickin is like a nice nutmeg brown I guess almost I don't know I just think these shades are all really really pretty I love the formula on these they're really nice and lightweight they are like a mix between if you remember the I forget exactly what they were called but I used to love them they were the Revlon crayons I really loved those and these mimic that kind of crayon packaging but it reminds me of that formula but then infused with slash the Frankenstein of that formula and then like a lip oil Oil, a tinted lip oil. It's the best of both worlds in any case. When you first put it on you get a nice like balmy texture. They're very smooth almost. They just kind of you know melt onto the lips and then once you have them on. I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply because why the heck not. So nice. They feel like a balm in the sense that they're super moisturizing, but they don't feel like a balm in that they have more of the consistency of an oil once they're on your lips, like a tinted lip oil. So it's that very lightweight, it's not oily feeling, but do you get what I'm saying? If you tried out lip oils, tinted lip oils, it's very much like that, like the uh, e.l.f. ones, kind of similar to that, but just nice and thin and lightweight. And like I said, they keep your lips super moisturized throughout the day, like a good at least three, four, five hours. And at that point, it will have faded, like the shininess and everything, the slight gloss that they have when you first apply them. But your lips are still hydrated and they've got a slight stain. The darker the color, obviously, the more impactful the stain. Like these two, the Maui Waui and Chimichanga, give a beautiful stain, a pink and a red respectively and it's just so nice so then on top of that if you want you can just put a normal lip balm on you can put some kind of a gloss on top of it to get a layered look or you can just reapply it right on top of itself these apply gorgeously right on top of themselves as you were able to see it'll bring that shine back it'll give you a more impactful color but these fade so gracefully they're not transfer proof or anything so if you're going to be eating and drinking a lot they will come off that's a thing that these are definitely going to do. They don't promise otherwise, but like I said reapplication is super easy and they fade gracefully enough, so it doesn't bug me at all. I personally think these are great. Like I said, it combines like two of my favorite lip formulas, a balm, a lip oil, a tint, lovely, just real nice, real comfy cozy. I am so grateful ColourPop sent these my way because I really enjoy them and I can see myself using these forever. <laughs> <laughs> like they're just they're so so nice and it's one of those products where like yes it was sent to me however if these were taken from me right now I would definitely buy the five that I mentioned for sure these I can tell are going to become staples for me oh they are very heavily scented though so if you don't like scented lip products you're not gonna like these I think it's kind of a mix between a watermelon Jolly Rancher and a cherry Jolly Rancher kind of packed into one so it's got like that almost sickly sweet but then the sour and it's just it's very fruity they all smell the same I thought it was gonna be really cool and like each pack you know the ones in the coconut pack are gonna smell like coconut the ones in the cherry are gonna smell like cherry etc etc that's not how it works <laughs> I guess that would be a little that would be a little extra but they all smell the same but like I said it is a very strong smell and then it does have a very slight taste the taste is much less impactful than the smell which is very surprising so you don't have to worry about the taste 
but the smell is there and the smell definitely lingers and packs a punch. So just so you know about that. Otherwise, I think that's about all I can tell you guys. You're gonna see swatches now, you're gonna get to see all of the colors. So hopefully that will help you in terms of what you are maybe or maybe not gonna want to buy from this new collection from ColourPop. Otherwise, if you don't wanna watch the swatches, well, <laughs> I guess I'll say goodbye now, but if you do wanna watch the swatches, I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you at the end of the video. There you have it. There was my review and all of the swatches of these new ColourPop Just to Tint lip crayons. I hope you enjoyed the review and found it helpful just seeing all of the different swatches on me, both up close and personal and from a nice speaking distance type of a thing. I hope it was helpful to not only see the colors on me, but also just to hear me talk about the formula and everything after having tested these for a week here. Like I said, I really, really have been enjoying them and would highly recommend them if you see a color or two that you would like to try and if the formula sounds like it would be up your alley, they personally get my stamp of approval. So I would say 
go for it if you are even slightly tempted. So let me know in the comments down below which of these colors is your favorite just in general and then also on me because I just like knowing what other people think looks good on me. Who knows, maybe one of the colors that I hate you think actually looks really good on me and maybe it'll change my mind. Also let me know if you have tried these yourself already and if you did let all of us know in the comments down below how you liked the formula and everything. It's always nice to cook up a nice casserole of comments and opinions down in the comment section below. You can also, also, also let me know if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful by giving the video a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell down below. Become a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel, or in case you didn't know, I also have a mystery box subscription cuteness channel on the side if you want to go ahead and check that out. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye!